Um, you know, obviously a disappointing outcome today. Uh, very, very impressed with Eastern. In particular, Gage. I mean, when, when we took things away that, from his from his ability to throw down the field, he was patient. Uh, did not have an answer for him when he broke the pocket, and uh, that was uh, that was frustrating, you know, because I thought I thought we did a really good job of uh, of mixing coverages and creating some confusion for him and having him kind of pat the ball. And we've just got to you know do a better job of, of, of finishing those downs. We did get to him a number of times, and I was really really pleased with the, the heart that our defense showed in the second half to allow us to get back in the game. Uh, offensively, I really thought Brian called an excellent game, gave us opportunities. We were efficient on fourth downs, but this tail of the tape is, is in particular the red zone turnovers. Uh, you know, when you when you when you move the ball the way we did, uh, uh, and we're as efficient in terms of some of the things that we wanted to do, what you can't do is give them momentum, and uh, especially when you're in the red zone and you've got opportunities to score points yourself. And they responded like a championship outfit that they are, um, and I think that's uh, that's that's probably the hardest thing to take right now is knowing that. Uh, that we're a pretty good football team, and, and uh, we played a tough stretch. Uh, really felt like this was an opportunity for us today. I felt like we had a good week of practice, and uh, we just weren't very crisp in, in, in critical moments of the game. Can you talk about those momentum changes there, especially at the end? Um, you get that turnover on on the kickoff, and yeah. then give the ball right back to them. Yeah, that was that was obviously that was devastating. You know, I mean, I, you, you can kind of feel the the sideline rise, and um, there's a lot of momentum. You're thinking, boy, we're going to get this thing done. And uh, and then to give it right back to him, and and then really never get the opportunity to get the ball back in a, in a meaningful time, uh, because of their ability to, to kind of close the game out in that drive uh, was was frustrating, and um, you know it's something that was reminiscent of some of the, the mistakes that we made a year ago in critical opportunity in critical times. It wasn't so much throwing the ball to the other team, but it was you know exchanges and reads and, and, and things that we should be decent at right now. You know, it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't new stuff. And uh, that was probably the most maddening thing is there were things that we should have been able to execute at a pretty high level. Are you, are you thinking also of the third and 27 situation there where you know, two plays later they have the first down? Yeah, yeah, they hit a seam ball. We're playing man under two deep. We should be playing inside leverage man to man, and we're playing outside leverage man to man. Just the third and 27. <laughs> the third, the third 27. No, yeah, we were, uh, like I said, we had a, uh, actually, I think Ty had a really good coverage call dialed up there. And uh, we, had, we knew we were going to have a personnel matchup with number 10 in particular. That guy's a long guy that can really run. And Gage threw a, a good ball, and we had the wrong leverage on it. And that set him up for a manageable fourth down. And uh, again, I think Byron called the perfect line stunt at that time. We actually even subbed a couple of guys in that we felt like might have a chance if Gage got out of the pocket. And it was, uh, it was, it was painful watching him kind of type rope the sideline right there and, and convert the fourth down. Um, because I do think that we could have played, you know, just give us a chance, you know, and see what happens. But uh, credit them. They made plays. Kevin Cass's play in defense, what was the – why did you think he did? I thought he did some nice things. Had a couple tackles. And, you know, really most of it was going to be man-to-man. -man. And uh, you can see – Kind of started running out of DBs there for a while, and so it was good that we had that package available to us this week. And that Kevin did some nice things. He's a good athlete. He's got great short area quickness. And we didn't put a whole lot on his plate. It was about four calls, and uh, two of them he was zone dropping in the same zone, and two of them he was playing man to man. And so uh, gave us probably 15 to 20 snaps today, and, and uh, we needed him. What was the message to the guys in, the, in that locker room? I don't know if I can say very much. To be <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Number one, that I was proud of the way they fought and how, how resilient they were in the second half in particular. And uh, I was proud of them. You know, I just thought they kept fighting. But I also told them Bobcats can't beat Bobcats. You know, when you uh, when you were playing the number 10 team, team, team in the country at their place where they're very, very good, uh, you can't squander opportunities and you can't give them momentum by, by turning the ball over, uh, especially wasn't so much the turnovers as it was when they occurred sometimes, you know. And, uh, like they had every opportunity to to close us out and make that a route. You know, the score probably doesn't indicate how competitive this game was. So. How would you say the pass rush did today? We did some good things. You know, we missed some opportunities. There's no question we missed some opportunities. Uh, Gage is a really good athlete. And he's probably better when he's outside the pocket than when he's inside the pocket. When we were able to keep him in the pocket, uh, we got to him and, and, uh, and we were able to get a handful of sacks on him. How do you, you think Lewis Kidd did? 
coming in. Filling in. Yeah. I thought he did a solid job. You know, I mean, Lewis has been a guy that, you know, we knew we were going to need him eventually, and it's kind of been one of those, okay, got to grow up, got to grow up. And, you know, he kind of got his baptism of fire today, but I think he did a really nice job and uh, filling into some tough shoes when Caleb went down.